Oh, I need to get my thing back up and working. Pull that back in. So that y'all can see my mouse cursor. Ah, uh, what just happened? Everything moved. Put everything back. Wait, no, I was not done. It back now. Okay, put Asian men. Hello, O'Brien. Is that right. you? I have Three, to disappoint two, you. One, go. Oh. Hello, right. Obrai. Three, two, Is one, go. You?
Okay. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Cool. tells me that would be much faster. However, because it soft cocks you, uh, there's probably no way in hell that'll ever be useful. So yeah, that fixed it, but like, I'm gonna leave that in the recording, but I'm starting over because that wasted time. Brian, is that you? Three, two, one, go. You.
Karen, my love. Hey. Having a good day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, so good. I called to tell you I'll be home late today. I'm sorry. Again? <sighs> they don't pay you enough for all the time you give them. It's not about payment, and you know that. These people rely on me. They need me. Yeah? Well, I need my wife at home with me some of the time. Am I asking for too much? Raban, not so long ago you were among them. You have been in their position. Yes, I know that. So was Ilya, so were the others. Yet none of us were national soldiers responsible for invading and ravaging countries. If it weren't for them driving refugees out in the first place, why, we wouldn't need these camps. This, again? We talked about this multiple times. I'm well aware that this extra time you spend there is for her, isn't it? Raban, she is... I'm worried, that's all. She's more reclusive now than ever. Something isn't right. One more reason to avoid her. You want me to cherry pick who deserves my assistance and who doesn't? All people get the same treatment, the same attention. Iliovat speaking. Brother. Oh, he hey, Raban. I, I didn't expect you to call. I I'm getting ready for work. I'll be brief. I need your abilities as my co-writer. You must write me an article. Uh, right now, is it important? It is. What do you want me to write about? There has been a second assault in Bonton, at Stelligan University. Another one? Oh, wow. They really have got a situation here, don't they? We need to cover it. Draw attention to how the government is failing its people. I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to pull it off at work. I feel like they're watching me already. Do you stand with me, brother? Or has the nation's corruption and wealth finally swayed your sympathies? Ravan, I stand with you. I've told you this. Then I have faith in you, brother. Are you preparing a statement about these threats? This has to stop. Are you gonna say something? Yes. Ah, great. Finally. And it is going to be the most remarkable statement I have ever made. The destruction of the cooperation between Cassett and Blaine. Destruction? How? Patience, brother. It won't be long now. Take care of the article. Okay. Uh, I will do my best to get it done for you. Give me, give me about an hour for the draft. I'll put it in the back end. Good. I'll be waiting. Until later. Yeah. Until then. This should be faster.
should Echo be Echo 1 reporting. Like maybe a Come minute. in, Command. Commander's reading you. We have arrived at the designated location. What is it like? Sorry, Command. I, I don't quite follow. The location? Tell me what you see. Looks like ruins of a school that has been hit by a large explosive. Possibly an airstrike. Maybe artillery fire. Hmm. Huh. Can you traverse the ruins? Affirmative. But the damage is catastrophic. Are you sure the target is around? Absolutely. Move in and keep me posted at all times. Describe to me everything you see. Understood. Echo Squad, move in. Entering primary hallway now. The hallway has been severely damaged. You can see the sky right through multiple stories. Some parts are completely caved in. Proceed with caution, Echo Squad. The damage definitely originated some time ago. There's vegetation spreading all over the place. There are some adjacent rooms that seem rather intact. Echo 2, Echo 4, clear them. Rooms are clear. Lots of bags lying around. There are still some geometrical drawings on the chalkboard. The place was clearly left in a hurry. Moving into the next corridor. There's... Oh, shit! What is it? Part of the ceiling gave way. Nearly hit one of our operatives. Status, Echo Squad. Dust off. Ugh. Can you proceed? Affirmative. Do it. Roger. Moving on now. Status? All clear. No traces of the target. Some doors are blocked by debris, but there's zero chance they have been opened recently. Listen, I need you to find the target person. He is around. There's a basement stairwell that we haven't checked yet. Moving there now. Watch your corners, Echo Squad. Not much left here either. The projectile went right through half the building like a hot knife through butter. Hate to say it, but we may be out of luck. Wait, found something. There's a hatch leading further down. Looks used recently. Finally, proceed. Affirmative. This is the school's library, still intact. Someone put a lot of effort into turning this into some sort of autonomous bomb shelter, and they succeeded. Even the power is still on. From what I can tell, this thing even has working surveillance cams on the walls. Huh, peculiar. Maybe Bakay is able to use them. Proceed with caution. Definitely wouldn't want to. Movement! Get down, get down! Echo Squad, contain the target. It's the target. It has to be. Oleg Bakay, we know you're here. There is no way out of this shelter. Throw your weapons into the middle of the room and come out from your position with your hands on your head. Visual on target. Identity confirmed. It is Oleg Bakay. Your order. Bakay has been proven to be a traitor to the office. He is a liability as long as he is alive. Terminate him. <laughs> Report in. Target down. Oleg Bakay is dead. Very well. Mission accomplished. Make sure the area is secure, then disengage. Understood. Echo Squad, move out. My dear followers, Yes, this is exactly what you think it is. I found Oleg Bakay. What you see before you is an image obtained from a surveillance camera feed from the ruins of my old school, showing him among soldiers of the nation. These highly trained professionals cowardly shot him, a soldier in service of the Pagesian army while he was hiding away from them. Now, as shocking as that image may be to you, the heinous nature of the national government is laid bare before you. Through their propaganda machine called the National Beholder, they dared to make their false allegations against me and the people's voice as a whole. They claimed I'd be responsible for Bakay's disappearance when it was them all along. 
But why would they murder a fellow soldier when President Kassat and Prime Minister Blaine are such close friends, you might ask? Oleg Bakay was the person responsible for the attack on Prava Second Day. My dear followers, yes, this is exactly what no. you think it is. I found Oleg Bakay. What you see before you is an <laughs> image obtained from a surveillance camera. It was going so good. Who did I just log into? I think I logged into my personal account. start this I'm gonna edit my splits and add a uh Hello, O'Brien. Is that you? I have to disappoint you. Yeah.
Karen, my love. Hey. Having a good day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, so good. I called to tell you I'll be home late today. I'm sorry. Again? Uh, they don't pay you enough for all the time you give them. It's not about payment, and you know that. These people rely on me. They need me. Yeah? Well, I need my wife at home with me some of the time. Am I asking for too much? Raban, not so long ago you were among them. You have been in their position. Yes, I know that. So was Ilya, so were the others. Yet none of us were national soldiers responsible for invading and ravaging countries. If it weren't for them driving refugees out in the first place, why, we wouldn't need these camps. This again? We talked about this multiple times. I'm well aware. Iliobat speaking. Brother. Oh, he hey, Raban. Uh, I didn't expect you to call. I I'm getting ready for work. I'll be brief. I need your abilities as my co-writer. You must write me an article. Uh, right now, is it important? It is. What do you want me to write about? There has been a second assault in Bonton at Stelligan University. Another one? Oh, wow. They really have got a situation here, don't they? We need to cover it. Draw attention to how the government is failing its people. I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to pull it off at work. I feel like they're watching me already. Do you stand with me, brother? Or has the nation's corruption and wealth finally swayed your sympathies? Ravan, I stand with you. I've told you this. Then I have faith in you, brother. Are you preparing a statement about these threats? This has to stop. Are you gonna say something? Yes. Ah, great. Finally. And it is going to be the most remarkable statement I have ever made. The destruction of the cooperation between Cassett and Blaine. Destruction? How? Patience, brother. It won't be long now. Take care of the article. Okay. Uh, I'll do my best to get it done for you. Give me... Give me... About an hour for the draft. I'll put it in the back end. Good. I'll be waiting. Until later. Yeah. Until then.
Tactical One reporting. Come in, Command. Commander's reading you. We have arrived at the designated location. What is it like? Sorry, Command. I don't quite follow. The location? Tell me what you see. Looks like ruins of a school that has been hit by a large explosive. Possibly an airstrike. Maybe artillery fire. Hmm. Huh. Can you traverse the ruins? Affirmative. But the damage is catastrophic. Are you sure the target is around? Absolutely. Move in and keep me posted at all times. Describe to me everything you see. Understood. Echo Squad, move in. Entering primary hallway now. The hallway has been severely damaged. You can see the sky right through multiple stories. Some parts are completely caved in. Proceed with caution, Echo Squad. The damage definitely originated some time ago. There's vegetation spreading all over the place. There are some adjacent rooms that seem rather intact. Echo 2, Echo 4, clear them. Rooms are clear. Lots of bags lying around. There were still some geometrical drawings on the chalkboard. The place was clearly left in a hurry. Moving into the next corridor. There's... Oh, shit! What is it? Part of the ceiling gave way. Nearly hit one of our operatives. Status, Echo Squad. Dust off. Ugh. Can you proceed? Affirmative. Do it. Roger. Moving on now. Status? All clear. No traces of the target. Some doors are blocked by debris, but there's zero chance they have been opened recently. Listen, I need you to find the target person. He is around. There's a basement stairwell that we haven't checked yet. Moving there now. Watch your corners, Echo Squad. Not much left here either. The projectile went right through half the building like a hot knife through butter. Hate to say it, but we may be out of luck. Wait, found something. There's a hatch leading further down. Looks used recently. Finally, proceed. Affirmative. This is the school's library, still intact. Someone put a lot of effort into turning this into some sort of autonomous bomb shelter, and they succeeded. Even the power is still on. From what I can tell, this thing even has working surveillance cams on the walls. Huh, peculiar. Maybe Bekay is able to use them. Proceed with caution. Definitely wouldn't want to. Movement! Get down, get down! Echo Squad, contain the target. It's the target. It has to be. Oleg Bekay, we know you're here. There is no way out of this shelter. Throw your weapons into the middle of the room and come out from your position with your hands on your head. Visual on target. Identity confirmed. It is Oleg Bekay. Your order. Bekay has been proven to be a traitor to the office. He is a liability as long as he is alive. Terminate him. <laughs> <laughs> Report in. Target down. Oleg Bekay is dead. Very well. Mission accomplished. Make sure the area is secure, then disengage. Understood. Echo Squad, move out! My dear followers, Yes, this is exactly what you think it is. I found Oleg Bakay. What you see before you is an image obtained from a surveillance camera feed from the ruins of my old school, showing him among soldiers of the nation. These highly trained professionals cowardly shot him, a soldier in service of the Pagesian army while he was hiding away from them. Now, as shocking as that image may be to you, the heinous nature of the national government is laid bare before you. Through their propaganda machine called the National Beholder, they dared to make their false allegations against me and the people's voice as a whole. They claimed I'd be responsible for Bakay's disappearance when it was them all along. I don't want to 
But why would they murder a fellow soldier when President Kassat and Prime Minister Blaine are such close friends, you might ask? Oleg Bakay was the person responsible for the attack on Prava Secondary, the school I have been principal of a long time ago. And they knew it. They knew the moment he'd turn up dead, everyone would blame me. They took a life, only to shut me up once and for all. But the people's voice cannot be silenced. So what is there to do for you, my dear followers, against the oppressive force of the national government and the Kassat regime? Do not listen to their corrupt and manipulative media outlets. Do not fail to remind Kassat what has transpired here today. Do not let them sweep this under the carpet, to pass the buck, to influence you with such outrageously false information, to take a life, to manipulate your thoughts. Or you may be next. Stand up for your rights and resist Kassat. Resist Blaine. Let's retake our country from President Puppet. Yikes, 30 seconds slow. <sighs> Raban. What time is it? Time to wake up, brother. Hey, what is it? Time to wake up, sheeple. Uh, Karen? Ilya? Why a conference call? What's going on? My love, my brother. I called early so I could warn you both. Warn us? What about? You both are aware of the storm yesterday's announcement has created. Y yeah, there was hardly a way around it with social media. I... I still don't quite get how you pulled that off. These photos, how did you get them? Were the shelter's cameras still working? Is, is this why you kept that old notebook? Don't rack your brains over it. I only did the necessary thing to expose the lies of the national beholder. Now, with the world seeing the beholder for what it really is, and finally shifting their attention to the people's voice, I'm ready to take the next step. This evening, I will send out a provocation against President Puppet. Narcissistic and self-centered as he is, he won't be able to ignore it. Raban, honey, what are you getting yourself into? You don't have to do this. I'm not getting myself into anything. I have always been right at the center of it. What is this going to achieve? What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? I want my country back. I called to warn you about the consequences. The people's voice will gain even more attention, and it won't only be from our followers. The nation's government, Kassat's close allies, nationalists and patriots, they will all try to hurt me, find an excuse to arrest and extradite me, but I won't give them any reason to. And you won't either. Uh, of course not. Leave us out of your plans, Raban. We want nothing to do with them. Don't you understand? It's not my choice. They are not giving me an option. There's always a choice. No, not always. I'm relying on you both. If there is any weakness between us, they will find it, and they will exploit it. You are the only people that I trust. The only people that matter to me. I've got work to do now. Goodbye. Uh, Karen, uh, are you... are you... Yeah, yeah, I'm... Uh, I can't. Let's not talk now, please. Okay. Uh, in case you do want to talk, though, you know... I do. Bye, Ilya. Bye.
the fastest I've gotten there. Yes. Brother, the police. The police have just stopped outside of the building. The police? So you did steal the medical supplies? No, no, I swear. I didn't do anything. Don't lie to me, Ilya. What? No, it's the truth. You, you said it yourself. They want to hurt you. 
Maybe they, maybe that's why they are here, to hurt you by arresting me. They wouldn't dare to arrest you without a valid reason. Shit! Someone let them in. They're coming upstairs. What am I supposed to do? Open the door. What? Open the door. Greet them. Be friendly. Feign ignorance. And put the phone down. If they take you, I will see what I can do to get you out. I don't know why sometimes I will show the world the what they did. And I wish it was uh, more consistent. Serious? And I wish yes. I could actually skip the dialogue do it. all the time. Okay. I will. Sucks balls. Thank you, brother. My dear followers, it might come as a surprise to you, but you aren't the only ones who are listening to me. You are not the only ones watching me. The government has been after me for a long time, snooping and prying into my personal life in a feeble attempt to discredit me. That much I was aware of, and I treaded carefully day and night, but even I could not have anticipated the methods they would resolve to. Instead of attacking me, their declared enemy, they went for my poor brother, Ilya, who has loyally assisted me as editor at this last bastion of freedom of speech, has been arrested on false allegations of stealing medical supplies from his employer. What a preposterous lie. He is being held hostage in a conflict that isn't his. But I will not shut the people's voice down, neither now nor ever. I owe it to you, my supporters, to speak out loud what needs to be said. I won't allow anyone to intimidate me. No, I will not stop. I will fight back, and more furiously than ever before. I will go after them, just as they went after my brother. I will pick their precious lies apart one by one, and expose their misdeeds so they are plain to see for everyone. All of you shall be witnesses for the truth. Holy shit, nine minute time save, let's go. Karen, you left early and without a word. Is everything all right? No, nothing is all right. What's this I hear about Ilya being arrested? Is that true? I fear it is. Apparently, he stole goods from that company he worked for. Watergate, Pharma... God, so it is true. What is? There's a rumor that you were talking to him at the time of his arrest. How else would you know? Yes, I was talking to him. He asked me to help him. 
The police got to him before I could do anything. Now, that's very convenient, isn't it? Are you saying I had a hand in his arrest? Why would I even consider arresting my brother? You've disregarded Ilya far too many times since you left the encampment. You wanted to get rid of him as an editor for your stupid blog for a long time. You were constantly lecturing him, belittling him, even though he's done nothing but support you. There's always been something between you two, and I've never understood why you always feel so superior to him. Don't be ridiculous. He is my brother, and we have been through the darkest of times together. That is why he called me yesterday, because he trusts me most of all people. His arrest is a consequence of Ilya's thoughtless actions, and a rightful one at that. I can't believe you just said that. Is it not true? You never deserve to support. Never. I've got to go. Is it not true, Karen? I have to go here, get the note from Christina. Thank you. 
slower to get Karen to kill him. Come on. This is on pace to be world record. My dear followers, those of you who still <laughs> remain, the story that has finally been spread by the despicable government mouthpiece. That's world record, it is boys. True. All of it. I never saved those children. Because I was too afraid. Because I ran for my life, eager <laughs> of saving it before theirs. <laughs> I got world Here record. Here I now am. Alive. And they aren't. I had so long forgotten about it. Oh my and now God. it's shaking me to my core. I believed that if I only shaking tried me hard to my enough, fucking core. I could change things. That I could make things better for my people at home in Padres. I believed I could fight against the corrupt, <laughs> evil, rotten I politicians did, longing did. for power <laughs> at the World people's record. expense. I believed I could free my home country from these parasites and go back home. And it only nine if only tries I twisted to... words long enough. We all need a reliable base though. on which our world is based. Our truth. This was mine. It like it shows. I've but now I realize that I've been living on a lie. Thesis, so there's still Not only a lie that made you believe in me, but a lie that allowed me to forget who I actually was. A far too comfortable lie. Only one thing is worse. Knowing that even as I speak, you all continue. Carry on. Fight on with all your fury. Perpetuating that very lie endlessly. Creating new truths based on fake claims put out there ages ago. What will become of this world when everybody has their own truth? What will be real? Dependable? Everything will be nothing. Truth is dead. And I killed it that very day. I was too afraid to speak up and correct a mistake. But no longer. This story has to end on my terms. There's hardly anything more concrete than a bullet. It creates a tangible, uncomfortable fact. The very thing needed for a resurrection of truth. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Beat the world record by two minutes, too. <laughs> Only took me four hours of a tries. Let's watch the whole credits, because I've never actually done that. I've just seen the whole credits. they make another one of these. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of things I wish this game did better though that would make it a better speed game. Uh, not having to watch a literal five minutes, no, 
let's see. The phone call started at eight, at nearly nine minutes, the nine minute mark, and it took fucking five minutes to do the phone call, and it took nearly two minutes after the for the fucking blog post. That's seven minutes of just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And again, it's another phone call. With Ilya, it's faster because he barely talks at all. So it's like only a minute, minute and ten seconds, it looks like. Then the blog post, another two fucking minutes long. It's, oh, it's fucking stupid. I can understand keeping the final one or whatever, but, uh, it's so annoying not being able to skip those. I think, I think being able to skip those would, would literally save nine minutes off the, off of this. It would make it a really short game, yes. But, God, would that make it more enjoyable to speedrun? Because a, to a total of nine minutes of just sitting there, dead air, doing nothing. It's, it's unbelievable. No, not even. Since it's from nine minutes to six, six nearly 15 minutes, let's say that. Uh, that's what? Like six, seven minutes right there is there. And then three minutes spent in the other one. Say so ten minutes off. It would make the speed run twenty-seven minutes long without that. Huh. But it would make it so much better, and I think more people would actually get into it because the this is all menuing. It's a it's literally just menuing. It's there's no like hard platforming. It is all just moving your wrist really fast. That is it course problem with this that you then have people coming in who want to say well they might use binds even and that would be god awful but this game isn't popular enough to worry about that currently so i won't worry about it it's not even my decision to worry about it but uh, thank you all for watching i One sitting went from almost half an hour over the world record to two minutes under in just four hours. Unbelievable, man. And I, I'm going to stream something again at some point. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to try for another world record for a different game. Probably, I'm probably going to try for a world record in the first game as well. Because, uh, I'm the Mama Seahorse. 